you think try to take you out? So I'm going to give you some big breaking news, right? Baron is 18, he's yeah. handsome, he's yeah. tall, he's rich. He's got the whole ball. He's right unleashed in New York City. Yeah. Are you sure you want to reverse Roe v. Wade now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make this country great again. It's not a great country right now. It's always a great country. It's, see, it's always a great country. Okay, but I'm good with names, you know. You are. Right? <laughs> tampon Tim was good. Is that I'm with Tampon Tim. It's hard to say. There are some... <laughs> My like comrade Kamala. It's yeah. a little hard to say. She's not bad, but when you put the names together, it's a little hard. You gotta be able to pume. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best yeah. dodge yeah. of the question. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to do? You almost chunked us out. Trying to get out of here. <laughs> How are we doing so far? We're doing amazing. So they're making us, Grandpa. We want you to yeah, yeah, yeah. give them a little more time. Right yeah. now. These are great questions. What the hell? But they lie. And they know it's a lie. She lied about many things. And she's a liar. I have a hard time doing it to them. You know, I'm basically a truthful person. But, and, and <laughs> frankly, <laughs> no, but frankly, that's <laughs> basically. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Flagrant. And uh, today, this is the first time that we've uh, been able to say this. We are sitting down with uh, Mr. President. Woo. Mr. President, thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, 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 folks. This was an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal interview by Andrew Schultz on his podcast, Flagrant. And Do only Donald Trump could have come. Folks, it's got two million views. As of today, the 10th of October, this happened yesterday. I mean, you talk about the timing. You talk about the campaign strategy. I mean, this is the type of program you go on. You want to capture the hearts and minds of at least men, real men, black men, Latino men, white men, straight men, gay men. I mean, you want to get men... This is the show that you go on. Andrew Schultz, the comic, he's an absolute king, folks. He kills it. You see his stuff all over social media. He takes risks. He's irreverent. He's reckless. He's raunchy. And he's probably rich, too. I mean, he goes after everybody, everything. He's phenomenal. And Donald Trump sees it, and Donald Trump goes on there, and he's, I mean, these guys were yucking it up. They were laughing. He had him. He was self-deprecating. He was humorous. He was serious. To try to, it was over an hour and a half, folks, an hour and a half. You know what people are going to say? Oh, Trump's meandering. He's going off script, and we're going to talk about that. There were so many things that I could have picked from in this 90-plus minute Unbelievable interview. Kamala goes on, who's your daddy? Late night with Corbert. I mean, how many people watching Stephen Colbert? Five, including his mother and father and his two brothers and his sister? Howard Stern? Come on. Howard Stern is yesteryear. This is fresh. This is hip. This is new. This is what everybody's going on. This is what people are listening to. And Trump goes on there and he's just one of the freaking guys. He could be on this podcast every single day. This is why black men are flocking to him. Latino men are flocking to him. Young white men, even older men. That's what's going on. And as I said, there were so many things to pick from, but I picked a few. One of them was, folks, and we're going to get to this. By the way, you're watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I'm your host, Dr. Nasser. If you're enjoying this content, we'd love for you to subscribe to this channel. Like, share, and follow. You all know what to do. Anyways, he's going to be talking about what he does. He calls it weaving. It's how he does his storytelling. And where everybody else says he goes off script. I hate when everybody, these pundits, they go, oh, I wish he stayed on point. He goes off topic. He has to be talking about, you know, just everything, whatever it is. He's got to figure that thing out. He's got to do that. You know how those pundits are? Stay on point. Stay on message. Do not go off message. You must be a robot. What, like Kamala Harris? Kumala? I've been saying this. He goes out there. He does his thing at these huge rallies for an hour and a half, two hours or more. After a while, 
You know what he's for. If you don't know what Donald Trump's for after the first time you've ever seen him in a rally, it doesn't change. It's the same thing. Make America great again. I'm open. You know, we want to seal the borders, build the wall. We want to, you know, uh, put tariffs on things. We want to keep jobs here. We want to prevent companies from leaving. We're going to make the American military strong again. Seal off the borders. You know, Economy, 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 energy, 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 drill, baby, drill, baby, drill, baby. There, I just said everything, right? In about a minute. I've got another 89 minutes to have fun and be an entertainer. That's what Donald Trump does. So first, we're going to check out his story of how he does the weave, all right? So folks, just check this out. And you know what? Kamala Harris could never, ever, ever in a million years do something like this. And this is why the people love this guy. This is why they love President Trump. Because he can be one of the guys. Even if he's one of the billionaires. This is relatable, folks. This is absolutely fucking relatable. Love it. And the people that hate him inside, deep down, you know what they're saying? This guy's got the stuff. This is the real stuff. He's got cojones. He's got balls. He's the man. Kumala could never do this. Not because she's a woman. She can't relate to men. Because she doesn't want to relate to men. She's a feminist. She's a San Francisco socialite. A Sansman... San Franciscan leftist, liberal. There's no way. There's no way. They'd see right through her if she came on here and cackled her way through this interview. And 90 minutes? Are you kidding me? These guys would commit suicide if Kamala Harris, okay, had been, you know, on this uh, podcast of theirs. They would have, I mean, they'd absolutely. They would have said, bring this stuff here. I just got to go to sleep. I can't stand her no more. But Trump comes on, and it is riveting, exciting. Every story, it's like they're on their edge. They're yucking it up. They're laughing. Let's get to Trump and his story about the weave, folks. It's absolutely fantastic. And then we'll go to another one after that. I was saying before, though, that, you know, I do a thing called the weave. Yeah. And there are those that are fair that say, this guy is so genius. And then others would say, oh, he rambled. I don't ramble. If I start a story, yeah. what you do is you weave things and you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have certain things. You need an, you need an extraordinary memory because you have to come back to where you started. Yes. You always, a weave is only good they if you come back. They give you credit back. for that. It's true. Then you could go no. all the way over here and then I get back. I can go so far here or there. <laughs> and I can come back to exactly where I started. Now, someday when you don't come back. Now, see, that's him being self-deprecating, folks. That's why he can be self-deprecating. You think Kamala Kumala could have done this? Hell no. Hell no. But the way you started? You're Biden. Then you're you not- say, <laughs> then you, then you, no, but the weave is the way. When you're telling, like a story, I was telling a story yeah. at a rally the other day in front of thousands of people. Yeah. Thousands of people. Off, and then you were weaving something them up. in the story. Yeah, I actually mentioned Air Force One. It was Air Force One was there. So I mentioned Air Force One. And then I said how I got $1.6 billion off the price of Air Force One. So, but then you have to come back to the story. Where was Air Force One taking you? Yeah, so anyway, yeah. I do a weave. I call it the weave. And some people think it's so genius. But the bad people, what they say is, you know, he was rambling. Yeah. It's not a ramble. There's no rambling. This is a weave. Me. This is a weave. So I call yeah, it the yeah. weave. Good name. I'm not sure. That's another name. We had fake news. Yeah, we came yeah. up with lots of names. Yeah. 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 But uh, the weave is, I think we should make yeah. the weave a yeah. part of that yeah. uh, stable. Yeah, you, yeah, you really weaved right answering my question twice. Really yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant. So, I, I don't even want to know the answer yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep weaving. I lost interest. We'll, we'll weave back. Yeah. Let's weave back to his question. Okay. Yeah. Because this is, where it, this is where it started. So we'll weave back to his question. Uh, so, so I ask you again, folks. Anybody could have done better than that? Is there anybody that you can think of? that could have done that, gone on that, those guys sat there for 90 plus minutes and never, never, never an awkward moment, awkward silence, dull moment, nothing at all like that. 
Now, in this next part, he's going to, they're going to ask President Trump the question is, who do you think the biggest influencer is out there or influencers are out there? Listen to his answer on this. Because uh, I know we have a limited time, but uh, important thing. Like, How are we doing so far? Oh, you're doing great. You're doing amazing. So they're bit, making us wrap up. We bit, want you for yeah, longer. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, this I'll, is bet my, I'll bet it's my people. You know, I do have other things. but I know, you're busy. But is, we're, we're, How interesting is this, though? <laughs> See, this is the fun <laughs> stuff. Yeah, he's a, <laughs> a good influencer. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a good kid. You know, I asked him, I said, Alex, let me ask you a question. Sure. And I didn't, I wasn't even Oh, you're not, you're not telling him he's got time now. I said, now. who is, give, give him a little more time, what the yeah. hell. Can I override Alex? I don't yeah. know, yeah. Unlike Biden, he can't, I can't. Yeah. I, can, <laughs> I can say, Alex, I'm doing it. He said, thank you. So, no, Biden <laughs> said, they turn the cameras off with this guy. Do you ever see it? The cameras are off, the lights go off everywhere. He's just you see, he's a deep, he's a deep job. We're no job. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I asked Alex, he's an influencer. You know, he's yeah. a very... He's a big name influencer. I don't know if he's in this league. I don't know who the hell. Is. And I said to him, knowing nothing about influencers, I said, "Who is the biggest of all the influencers?" You see, he was right. There. He goes. He didn't try to play up that he's in. He knows all the influencers. He's all into it. I know everything. He just right there. He says, "I didn't know much about influencers, so I asked somebody about it." Kamala would have gone, "Oh, I know everything about. It. Let me define influencers for you." That's what she would have done, and people would have seen right through her bullshit. Sir, that's the easiest question you've ever asked me. Who is it? You, sir. That's true. <laughs> wow. I said, no. I never thought of it. He said, you're the biggest. You have hundreds of millions of people. You have more people than anybody else by far. You know, before they took away, I went from having 280 million on Facebook and Twitter and uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. The three of them combined, 280, I think it was... I think I was number one because Zuckerberg told me that. He came to the White House. He said, congratulations, you're number one on Facebook. You mm. know, So I went from that to having nobody. Mm. I went, that was like cold turkey, right? Mm -hmm. You'd call that cold turkey. Like, yeah, yeah. That would be like if we didn't do business with China. One day I said, no more business with China. That's, you go cold turkey, yeah. right? And I went and I said, boy, but I had a lot to say. This was after the presidency, of course. You know, they do it after the presidency. Yeah. During the presidency, they're a little they're bit... very nice. But yeah. anyway, but they, I went totally, totally off. I had nobody, and I had all these ideas. And I couldn't get the word out, and I had some good thoughts, and people wanted to hear my thoughts. And I did a thing called uh, Save America, just a... And essentially, it was like the old-fashioned... You, you guys are far too young. In the old days, what we did, we didn't have tweeting and we didn't have truth. Truth is doing great, by the way. Would you please use truth? I love truth. Use truth, everybody. It's my voice. <laughs> but I also use that. I also use These guys, look at them. Every one of them. I know, because he's getting the advertising in there. Achoo! He's getting the advertising and said, please use truth social, okay? I use X as well, but you know what? Truth, truth, truth. <laughs> The classic Trump folks, classic, classic. But I went from, I went from having all laughing. these people, and I did an old-fashioned press release. It's called, yeah. we used yeah. to go to press release. Yeah, yeah. And somebody would write up something. And, you send it to all and the I started ones. doing it, Save America, and they, get, they got longer and better and longer, and I started yeah. doing it. And, man, I had millions of people. He'd, now, nobody else could do that because, you know, if somebody puts out a press release, it yeah. just doesn't work out too well. But I did it, and it did well, and then I did Truth. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I'm very good friends with Elon, and we owe e Elon a lot for what he's done with yeah. X. And I use X, too. I use X, too. Um, but my voice is on Truth, mm -hmm. and it's done really well. I mean, if I want to get something out, I, I put it on Truth, and everybody picks it up. You know, That's the thing. You put it there, and then you see it, other no, people. No, it's picked up all yeah. over the place. Yeah. It's picked up. I mean, I could be on anything I want, but... Yeah, I put it out on truth, and it just gets picked up all over the place. Yeah. So it's been very good. Mm -hmm. uh, but he said I was the number one influencer. See? The yeah. weave. The weave yeah. is great. Yeah. Okay, yeah. question, question. Man, I could go on and on and on about how great this was or whatever, folks. I mean, there were so many other pieces to pick, but this is the final piece. So I hope you watch it to the end. It's about President Trump talking about 
how he comes up with his names and he talks about it. And I'm telling you what, folks, he just absolutely kills it. I mean, he, the, he just, it's a grand slam, folks. It's an absolute grand slam. Watch this. Jack over there. I think he's trying to do it. Yeah. Jack. You're, you're oh, TikTok, yeah. TikTok Jack. TikTok Jack. TikTok Jack. TikTok Jack. Tell me. You know, this is a little new world. I call him, his name is Jack. I call him TikTok Jack. I'm good with names, you know. You are. I, you're you very are. good with names. You are, yeah. Pocahontas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have names. What about, and, and there was, you, Tampon Tim was good. What about, Tampon, is that? The problem with Tampon Tim, it's hard to say. Yeah. In other words. It's a mouthful. T yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Tampon. And you can't. <laughs> Stutter it through yeah. when you know it. Yeah. It's really a lousy word to say. Yeah. Uh, but it's quite accurate, right? There, there are some okay. uh, like uh, Comrade Kamala. It's yeah. a little hard to say. She's yeah. Comrade because she's obviously a communist. Yeah. She's horrible. <laughs> so I call her Comrade. Yeah, yeah. And it's not bad. But when you put the names together, yeah. it's a little hard. You got to be able to pum. <laughs> No, you gotta be able to put it out there. But we have a lot of good reasons. A lot of them I can't go into with you because. Man, we gotta go over that one again. When you. Boom! Okay, watch this again. Folks, this is classic. This is absolutely classic. It's hard to say. Yeah. In other words, it's a mouthful. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Damn, punk. And you can't. <laughs> Stutter Watch through. these guys yeah, laugh. You know, they literally really fall really off the couch. To say. Yeah. They're falling uh, off the couch, folks. Quite accurate, right? <laughs> there, there are some uh, like uh, Comrade Kamala. It's yeah. a little hard to say. She's yeah. Comrade because she's obviously a communist. Yeah. She's okay. horrible. Yeah. So I call her Comrade. Yeah, yeah. And it's not bad. But when you put the names together, yeah. it's a little hard. you got to be able to pum. <laughs> <laughs> No, you gotta be able to put it out there. But we have a lot of good ones. A lot of them I can't go into with you because <laughs> some of my best some. ones Give me some. some of my best ones are from the Republican primaries. Oh, oh yeah. And oh. they're all friends of mine now. Oh, now I don't you wanna... gotta be nice. <laughs> so I've taken What about that... Mike Pence? You got anything for Mike Pence? Well, it's a shame because uh, he and I had a very good well, relationship. Uh, just great stuff there, folks. Absolutely great stuff. Check it out, you know. Uh, Andrew Schultz, uh, flagrant podcast. I mean, it's just, that's the way you do it. If you want to see how it's done professionally, politically, socially, s with savvy, with guts, with gusto, with, you know, joy <laughs> and happiness... <laughs> And strength and going into your wheelhouse and just hitting it out of the freaking park, folks. That's the way you thing do it. Just like he did there. In that arena. With that crowd. Million. You know, that's just two million plus. Who knows what the final number is going to be. But this is going to be. I mean, I'm talking about it. Others are going to be talking about it. It's going to be circulating everywhere. This, this is why he's up double digits with men, folks. This is why. Anyways, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you've been done so already, subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow us. You all know what to do. Take a look at our other video links here and below. My final thought is always, when you're right, you're right. Couldn't you have been more right? And when you're left, you're just plain wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.